guys, it's Carla the Bubble Lush. Today is cycle day five, and uh, I just wanted to open it up. If you have topics that you want me to discuss in these vlogs, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Perhaps not like specific question, it's but like just kind of a topic idea. Like, can you talk about? I don't know. This is why I need your help. I can't think of anything. Um, so I went back and I looked at previous comments on the four previous videos and uh, two of them stuck out to me. So the first one is why you do IUIs instead of trying on natural and why do you use the fertile CM if you plan to do an IUI? Both really good questions. The reason why we do IUIs, um, you have to look back at the first, at trying to conceive Hannah, those first couple cycles. So we try 50 milligrams of Clomid and I have no response. We try 100 milligrams of Clomid, no response. 150 milligrams of Clomid worked and I was like, hallelujah, praise the Lord. <laughs> like, thank God, because I was so scared that this was not going to work. Um, so even when I didn't conceive that cycle, I was like, it's okay. It's, it's okay, it was you know, our very first chance ever of trying to conceive, and um, so it's okay that it didn't work, because we can just do 150 milligrams of Clomid again, and it'll work, because it worked last time. So I was super confident going into my fourth medicated cycle. I get in on that table, strip off my pants, have that stupid internal ultrasound, ugh. and um, they look, and there are no follicles. I didn't respond at all to 150 milligrams of Clomid. And um, if you were to ask me what my lowest point was while trying to conceive Hannah, it was that day. I nearly lost it because um, I came that close to just losing all hope. Uh, yeah, that really scared me. And it's because of that experience that every time I go in for an ultrasound, I'm just I'm scared because I know that something that's been working this whole time can all of a sudden just stop working. So while I'm excited for this cycle and I feel like things are working in there, I, I'm a little cautious and a little reserved because I know that um, it, the Femara might stop working. I might stop responding to it. So she wanted to switch me to injectables and I asked to try Femara. And so when it actually did work, after five medicated cycles, um, I got a really nice looking follicle and it grew at a good pace and it was a good size. It was even better than that follicle at 150 milligrams of Clomid. And um, we were so excited and we didn't want to take it for granted and we wanted to give um, Chris and I the best chance possible of conceiving. So we did an IUI because insurance paid for it for the most part. I think they paid for a lot of it. And um, so we just wanted to give it our very, very, very best shot. And even when that didn't work, we were like, it's okay, because I'm responding to the, to the Femara. And uh, again, I was cautious, but I was hopeful. I went in for the, let's see, that would have been the sixth cycle, the second cycle on Femara, and it worked again. And we were like, do another IUI. So then we... Even though that didn't work, we did a third from our cycle. We did another IUI because we were just throwing everything at it because really if that third from our cycle hadn't worked, we would have probably been switched over to injectables. And I think she was preparing the IVF talk. And uh, it worked. <laughs> and you have to think like, um, I had three cycles where I had beautiful follicles and I had three cycles where I had perfectly timed IUIs with a fabulous semen cycle or whoa <laughs> semen sample and uh, you know it took that third chance for it to work which is fine because obviously it gave me Hannah and she's my best little baby um, but I mean that still took a long time considering how closely I was monitored so this time around I want to conceive as quickly as possible. I don't want to go through seven medicated cycles. I, I don't want to go through lots of Provera and lots of ultrasounds and lots of time off work. Like, I, I want to conceive as quickly as possible, not only from a you know, financial standpoint and um, just kind of like a timing standpoint, but from an emotional standpoint, everyone wants to conceive on their first cycle. And so 
we're totally open to IUIs. I don't think it's weird at all. I think it's giving yourself the kind of the best chance possible. Bypassing um, that huge swim through, <laughs> through all your cervical mucus, through your uterus. It's putting all of those sperm right at your fallopian tube. So it's taking off at least half of the marathon and uh, it's timing it perfectly. And then you go home and you still do timed intercourse. So you never know where that magic sperm came from. And it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, who cares as long as you get pregnant, right? I mean, I don't care. So that's why we do an IUI, just to give ourselves the best chance possible because going through medicated cycles takes a real toll on your body and your relationship and your life and your emotions and the sooner we can get pregnant, the better. And the reason why I take the fertile CM, even though I'm doing an IUI, like I touched on, um, as soon as we get home from the IUI, we still do timed intercourse over the next couple days to give ourselves the best chance possible. So I want to make sure that my cervical mucus is um, conducive <laughs> to sperm being able to swim through it and, uh, you know, it's not hostile to them. So that's why I take the fertile CM. I did kind of take it with Hannah, but I wasn't religious about it. And I don't think I saw, you know, I don't think I saw the results because I wasn't religious about it. This time I've tried to be a lot better about it. So hopefully I will be able to give a review. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, again, today is cycle day five and uh, I just feel like things are activated and things are going on and I'm really excited because for a long time, my ovaries and my uterus and everything has just kind of been very quiet. And uh, it feels like the lights are turned on and the cobwebs are swept out and things are running. And hopefully they're producing a follicle. So we will find out in a week. The ultrasound is next Friday. So very, very excited. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Where's Hannah? You could, Have you guys seen Hannah? I can't find her anywhere. Hannah! 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 Hanny, where are you? Hannah? Hannah!